computer camera was finally able to turn on. Looks like the Hexi puppies are having kind of a fit because I wanted to record a video saying that, yes, it looks like a nice and sunny day and the boys in the hood are doing work that might create some kind of spark that could land on... This is all fucked up. It's from August 25th, um, 2018. YouTube's uh, sticking on the processing, though. Zero percent process. Still, it uploaded like snap. But it's not processing. High up, I would say. Upstanding, high up member of the sabotage gang locally. What appears to be the sabotage gang locally run by some... Some aspect of the authorities that are in the district courthouses. I'm not saying all the authorities in the district courthouses, certainly there do have to be people of integrity, but yep, I'm calling it the district court gang when I don't call it the old school gang or the meth production gang or the August 25th, gang 2018, or, you know, last because year. What I've seen is that they rotate the same, same violent, petty criminals that I've actually been personally threatened by in 2015. I uploaded a video showing them doing the, uh, that's before the latest one where the sheriff's like, they're just doing their job. Um, as they rolled back and forth just past my house on the street, scraping the street, you know, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So, yeah. Um, in 2015, when this first started, they hired one of the petty criminals to do computer uh, community service um, right after this dude had allegedly uh, committed vehicular, like they, they took someone down to the park, to Clumgard Park, and three of them beat up on one of them, another person hit them with the car and then left them down at the park. So then my municipality that is, I definitely think is abusive and aggressive and criminal, and I'm waiting for an audit on it. Um, my municipality brought this person on as one of their rotating assistant employees and, or sometimes they have volunteers. They have volunteers that come in and get through our accounts in the water and billing and um, run the city stuff, the equipment and um, whatever they want. And they, they, they claim that the eminent domain actually comes up here into my house. So legally, apparently, uh, because of the district court gang factor especially, they're basically allowed to violate landlord tenant law. Um, they're allowed to come straight up to my my window, my window is allegedly now on city property. So yeah, so they hired this dude that was allegedly, possibly, potentially part of, and and was serving, you know, jail time, um, to, I videotaped them rolling back and forth in front of my house, scraping the road for two and a half hours, I think, that day. And I carefully recorded because I could tell that they were creating. That's one of the uh, videos taken off a of YouTube. Situation where the road was being tilted, the bed of the road, so that the water would run towards my yard instead of towards the drainage ditch on the other side. The drainage ditches have all also been silted in, so they're about half full of silt and don't function very well. So. Um, Let me check YouTube and yeah, see how so it's working, if it's bill, processed at I all. I was getting double charged. Oh, it is. Awesome. Up, paying $300 a month for two months in a row, having completely no, no, um, the people that went over the bill were very clever people, and one of them used to work for the water billing here uh, for, I guess, decades, and, uh, or decades ago or something, but anyway, so they know the system. They're like, this makes no sense, but... Well, so I'm waiting for an audit on that. So now I finally have worked through the sheriff's department enough that they're not allowed to screw with my bill because they would just like change my bill whenever they want. People would break into my house, steal my bills, then they'd end up changed, then they'd end up in the post office with no uh, meter mark and uh, no stamps, but the whole stack of envelopes that I had that had just the red mark on them with no stamp and no metering. The red mark is just something that goes, um, it's a date stamp at the post office, it's 
done by hand. It's not got anything to do with running it through the system. So all those, those were like one of the bags. Like they stole my bag of paperwork and then it came back with all my envelopes, which were all helter skelter in the bag. They were all stacked up and had a rubber band around them. I'm like, mm hmm. But they all had stamps on them and the meter mark. Not the meter mark, but the red hand stamp thing. So anyway, yeah, there's all this going on. They hire someone. And, and so I felt threatened at that point when they were driving back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, because their faces were like, ah, as they drove. And, you know, um, yeah, take that out of context and put that in the video, scumbags. Eventually, you'll get caught at this. So I felt threatened, and that was even before I knew that the dude had actually participated in a beatdown and a, and a rundown and a leave, right? So now that I know this guy's name, I watched him go in and out of the jail, in and out of the jail, and come oh, back in here Clarkson. and do more threatening. And I've been in the courts so often since I've been in my lovely hometown where I spent so much of my youth in the courts and then was able to, you know, live a life for a while without that. But yeah, so back and forth in, in front of the, the owner judge. We're just not even going to go into the comptrollers. This is been very to my other word before by this same judge right now, or what I think the comptroller's office is involved in. So what it looks like to me from being in the courtroom so often and being forced to sit there and watch everyone else's court cases looks like um, people get instructions in court and these people rotate through like the last time I was in my first had, clue on queuing two people with five times they've been doing the same thing like the guy was in there for this time he broke into some house and probably I mean maybe I even did this when I was a kid I don't know I mean out in, pff, no actually my mom's house I used to break in and clean and clean the house, she would come home and find her house clean and know that I had been there. Ooh, that's bad, that's bad. So yeah, so this, this dude has been in, was in jail at this point because he, like somebody came home and found him on their couch and didn't know who they were and um, the, the guy broke the lock to get in there. I don't know what the story was, but the, the upshot was that this was like his sixth time into that, the courtroom uh, for these kind of charges in, he was a young dude, so it couldn't have been too many years since he turned 18. And, um, and the previous five times he'd been let out on the own recognizance thing without a, without bond and had had to have a warrant placed on him because he did failure to appear for his court date. So for the sixth time, the judge is like, well, sure. I'm going to let you out on your own recognizance because, you know, I, I shouldn't, but... And so he's sitting up there, the dude, uh, with the, with some other guy that also looked like, you know, and, and previously when I've been in the court, there's like, you know, nobody's there, but the prosecuting attorney is like, <laughs> one time it was hilarious. So threatening people that I know hang out next door sometimes who've also threatened me with guns and very just words about guns, but like, so, so then the prosecuting attorney after these scary people that are all around gets up and says, you know, this person isn't out and I know, and I know they're not going to show up without a warrant. So we need a warrant because they got busted for making all these homemade dangerous weapons and they keep looking at me and they had a, a weapon like this and a weapon like that and a weapon like the other thing. And I'm like, yeah, pretty much I grew up in the party circuit and I know all about your dangerous fucking weapons mm. and bring it. So anyway, today looks like a perfectly well set up day for a fire. Bring it. They will, Ronnie. They phone. will. It didn't work. They and, have. Um, they are. I couldn't connect to the internet, uh, the other phone. And um, then my laptop got a remote kill switch on it. And now Facebook has a weird page. So I would have to say the cyber hackies are not too thrilled with the idea that I'm aware that they created oh, yeah. a fire trap. Um, that I'm aware that there are games, that I'm aware that they forced my landlord to do this. Off? Oh, is that TK? Not that that person 
I don't know who it was, but I'm sure that they're watching me upload this. I got it on RockShot and the cell phone and the laptop that never, ever shuts off for real. So I wish ICE would come here and liberate us. I don't even care if you haul me off and pretend that I'm a Mexican person and do whatever. Just freaking get rid of the gang. Get rid of oh, them. But the gang They're is ICE's gang. Too, Sorry, so man. Sorry, Ronnie. You're, you're fucking it. idiat. You're fucking idiot. Can Can't you tell that they're related? And, and you're not related. Can't you tell that and you're different? Old Dumb shit. Judge is like, okay. Sounds like a good idea. You know, I mean, last time I was in there, he is congratulating my landlady's husband, who admitted that their their riding lawnmower brushed up against my legs, who admitted that when I was upstairs, they wanted to push me down the stairs, kick me down the stairs. I mean, that's what they said. They said that in court that they were thinking. And why were they being allowed to bring up this stuff? He ran over my toes almost. And slanderously and, and lying. It, it was just and the guard edge, like though, so the judge was cool with it. On, uh, that they hadn't he didn't actually chop my toes. Paper trails backing up that, that he's perjuring himself under under oath. And it's like, I mean, pa paper trails that probably disappeared. Yes, I know you can get in my email, take away all my emails, and all my YouTube my videos, right? And right. Going to the other. Ooh, you're so so scary, you ghosties. You're so scary. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> That's still what I think of you. And then we're going for a walk. So, dirty white t shirt brigade. Dirty white t shirt brigade. Dirty white boy. Foreigner. And since you study it, once you study it, you can see it happening. That's why you guys haven't caught me yet. Because you're clinical and pathological and the behavior. The behavior is obvious, it's predictable. <laughs> You can easily see why people don't like me. <laughs> and I'm happy about it. Why? Because they're horrible. And I would hate to be liked by them. It would just, like, ruin my life. I mean, like, really ruin it beyond, you know, suicidal ideation or, or being murdered or having my family murdered or, you know, as if I liked them. So I'm glad that I don't. Woohoo!